Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cute koala bear. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. As usual, I'll leave links in the description below to all the equipment and products that I use and there are separate links for the UK and the US and the rest of the world. So check out the description for the link that you need. For this design, we're using the 12 inch Linky balloons. I've set my digital inflator to 0.4 on this side and I've fine tuned it to setting 15 with the pink knob. And on this side, I've set the size to 0.2 and I've fine tuned here to 20. So this one's seven inches, this one's six inches. For the larger balloon, if you're using the Qualitex hand pump, it's 15 strokes of the hand pump. So one, two, three, they're full strokes, 15 strokes. And for this smaller balloon, I would use 10 strokes of the hand pump. Take hold of the tip of the smaller balloon and just run your fingers along it to take the air out and tie the two together. Okay, so we've got a larger balloon, a smaller balloon, a larger balloon, a smaller balloon, okay? All the other balloons, all the rest of the balloons, we now want to inflate to the same size, to seven inches. So make sure with this pump that you're putting the nozzle of the balloon onto the outlet to the ridge here, there's a little ridge. So make sure that the balloons, the nozzles are down to that ridge on both sides, otherwise the balloons will inflate to different sizes. Wrap the necks round one another and tie. So these are all sized to seven inches. Just take the air out of the tips and tie them together. Then we've just got a single one here. So again, take the air out of the tips and tie it on to the rest. So you've got a chain of seven linky balloons all sized to seven inches. Take your chain of four balloons and we've got a seven inch, a six inch, a seven inch, a six inch. We want to tie the six inch onto the chain of seven balloons. Okay, so we, again we've got seven inches, six inches, seven inches, six inches, and then we've got seven balloons, each one sized to seven inches. Take hold of your chain here. So we've got the first five balloons, including the two sized to six inches. Pull those together and take that tip, wrap it round and also wrap it through the center and back round and then tie it onto one of the nozzles there, okay? And I like to tie a second time, okay? We want to count four balloons, one, two, three, four and then bring that up and wrap it around here, around this junction here. Okay, so that's what you've got. You've got five balloons here, you've got four here, and you've got two left here. Okay, so bring this down and this junction here, pull it into this junction here, okay? So just pull it round and then push this one back up, okay? Take hold of the knot here and you're going to pull that 
into this junction here. Okay, so pull it up and pull it through this section here. So pull it through and then wrap the neck around here. Wrap it through the centre again and then find one of the nozzles here, tie it on to that one and then if you can find another nozzle, tie on there as well. Okay, so that's what you've got. Looking at the five balloons here, take hold of the sections here and just fold them together and then take hold of this balloon and twist it round quite a few times. Okay, so that's made an ear. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this one. So just grasp hold of that, twist it around quite a few times. Okay, and that's your second ear. I'm using a 350 white to make the eyes. So we're not going to use all of this, so don't worry how, many, how much you inflate it. That's absolutely fine. That's probably about eight or nine inches or so. So just tie that, okay? Make a bubble of about four fingers. Make another bubble to match that is also about four fingers. Bring those two bubbles together. Take hold of this knot and nozzle and wrap it around, okay? And then pass the knot and nozzle through the center of the two bubbles. That's just going to help ensure that it doesn't come undone. Snip off the end of the white 350, let the air down and then just tie a knot, okay? We're going to pinch twist these two bubbles by taking hold of this strap pulling it through the center of those bubbles. Okay, and that's just going to pinch twist everything. It's a really easy way of pinch twisting two bubbles. I'm using a black 260. We're not going to inflate it all the way, but rather annoyingly, it has reverse inflated. So that means the tip has inflated first. If you find that you get this a lot, um, I tend to find that if I have a, a bag of balloons that, that do this, then chances are there are lots of other balloons in the same bag that will do the same thing. I'll have a video on how to address that and I'll put the link just here and in the description to uh, help you out because it does make um, life trickier when the balloon reverse inflates, but we'll work with it. Right, there you go. So we will twist off a bubble of two to three fingers and another bubble to match. Okay, so you've got two bubbles. Bring the two together. As before, wrap them around one another. Take that knot and nozzle, pass it through the center. Okay, and again, that's just going to help ensure this doesn't come undone. Snip off the end, let the air out and tie a knot. Okie dokie. As before, we're going to pinch twist this with the strap. So take that strap through the center, wrap around a few times, and that's just going to pinch twist those two bubbles. Take hold of your white pinch twists and just pull that black 260 strap through the back, over the top, through the eyeballs, underneath and back under, okay? So that's what you've got. For the nose, I'm using a black 350. So I'm leaving a tail of, oh, about seven or eight fingers. Again, we're not going to use all of it. Let a little bit of air out just to soften it and then tie, okay?
we're going to need two black five inch rounds. So inflate with two strokes of the pump and then just let a little bit of air out to soften. Round them off and I just like to be able to feel these, that they fit the palm of my hand and then tie, okay? So that's probably about three inches or so in size. Take your 350 and find a connection here, a nozzle or the tip of one of the uh, linky balloons and tie your 350 on there. Squeeze off a bubble that is perhaps about three inches or so. Okay, so sort of the, the spread of my hand. Next, take the eyes and wrap that 350 into the eyeballs, but behind the black parts, okay? So we're tucking the 350 underneath the eyes and then they're pulling it back through the eyeballs, okay? Push the 350 through the middle of the head. Snip off the end of the 350, but leave a nice long tail. Tie a knot just to be on the safe side. Okay, and then pull that up around one of the ears and tie. I'm using a 260 yellow. And I've inflated to a tail of probably about seven fingers, but we're not going to use all of this. Let a little bit of air out just to soften. Twist a bubble of a couple of fingers. Squeeze your balloon to soften it. Make a small loop of four fingers. Twist that. Make another loop of four fingers. Twist that, wrap that bubble around a few times, snip off the end and tie. Okay. This bubble here, take hold of the knot and nozzle, just pull it over and then twist that bubble around to make a pinch twist. And then pull the end of the yellow 260 through here, position the bow just below the nose, bring that 260 back up, wrap around the pinch twist through the back of the loop and there we go and that's secured. So we can just arrange everything so that it sits nicely. Take your black five inch rounds and we're going to split these, these in half. So put a finger either side of the knot and nozzle. And as you do so, twist put one hand this way and twist the other hand that way. Okay, so this hand's going this way and that hand's going that way on either side of the knot and nozzle. Just twist. Okay, and then take that neck and wrap it around. And do the same thing with the other five inch round. And you can just part these two bubbles a little bit and push the black five inch rounds through the center. Do the same thing on this side. If you want to, you can swap them around to lock them in position. So that's what we've got so far. This next bit is a great opportunity to use up all the little bits of scrap 
260 and 160 that you've been stockpiling. I know I do. And um, this is a great uh, little way of using those up. So just split your bundle in half. Doesn't really, you don't want a mix of colors, but don't overthink this too much. It's not, it's not uh, critical. So take hold of your bundle, okay? And just grasp hold of it towards the middle. And then take a little piece of 160 or 260, wrap that around a couple of times and then tie, okay? And tie again. And then do the same thing with your other bundle. So our little bundles are to represent eucalyptus leaves. So I want to be sure that my koala bear has a snack with him wherever he goes. So uh, I'm just taking hold of the ends of that bundle that we tied, pulling them into the ear, but not too tightly. And then at the back here, just tie together, okay? So you don't need to tie it really tightly. It's just to secure it there. And then we can just position it. I can't see how it's looking at the moment, so I'll have to position it later. I'm going to position my next bundle, the opposite corner, and just put it into his hand. So you can just wrap one of the 160s or 260s into the hand.